All right. Hey, guys. Um, so we are getting ready to move on, continue um, with the rest of our lesson. So let's just jump right into it. OK. Hopefully uh, the video will come on over. Yes, it did it. Yay. And um, let's just get this party started. Let's move me up here. All right. So we ended the last video um, talking about, you know, lesson C um, on page 74 and the fact that we are going to be answering what are called when questions, right? We talked about when questions, you know, when do you go to work? When does he go to work? When questions when we're talking about time. We were talking about time. And, you know, if you think about these when questions, the answers come when we talk about prepositions of time. Okay. We use prepositions of time like at, at eight o'clock. You know, when do you go to work? At eight o'clock. When does he go to work? In the morning. When do we go to work? On Sunday or church, you know, when do we go to church? On Sunday, right? And these prepositions at, in, on, we refer to them or we call them prepositions of time. So if we think about page 74, let's look there. On page 74 and let's focus on <clears throat> this part right here where it says grammar focus <clears throat> excuse me at in on and from to with time and when questions <clears throat> at in on and then we have from to okay they answer when questions. So we use when to ask about the time something happens. We use when to talk about the time something happens. We use the prepositions at, in, on, and from or to, from and to, to talk about time. You know, the time can be one o'clock or the time can be uh, the time can be a day. The time can be a specific time. The time can be a specific day or a day. It can also be a part of the day, like in the morning. Right. Um, <clears throat> we would use at for a definite time. We use in for months and parts of the day. We use on for days and dates. And we use from slash to for a period of time. Um, let's go ahead and focus on that part a little bit more. And then I'm going to actually come back to that, to that slide. So we use at for a specific time. So we might say, I wake up at 7 o'clock. That's a very specific time that you wake up. She returned home at midnight. Okay, this is a time of day, but it's a specific time of day. It's an exact time of day. Or a holiday period, like some holiday. Everyone seems happy at Christmas. All right, Christmas is a specific holiday. We use on for days of the week for specific days or for dates. We will, re we will visit you on Wednesday. That's the day of the week, on Wednesday. I return to my country on the 27th. So maybe you might want to say May 27th, on May 27th or on June 27th. 
for dates. We get together on Christmas Day. You know, we get together on Thanksgiving. These are specific dates. We use in for months, years, seasons, length of time, and for centuries. So let's think about that for a moment. My birthday is in January. So that's a month. There's not a day here. If there was a, an exact day, then we would use on. My birthday is on January 19th, let's say. But because there's no date, it's just a month, my birthday is in January. We use it for years. America was discovered in 1492. America was discovered in 1492. We use it for seasons. I always go to the beach in the summer. I should say in the summer. Okay. Length of time. It will be ready in 20 minutes. It will be ready in 20 minutes. Also for centuries. Life was different in the 15th century. Yeah, it was. Life was different in the 15th century. So we use in with months, years, seasons, length of time, and centuries. Now, for parts of the day, we have different ways of saying different phrases. So let's look at that. In the morning, I go to the gym in the morning. In the afternoon, I often feel tired in the afternoon. In the evening, I study English in the evening. At night, I like to read in bed at night. We use on plus a day or plus part of the day. We will have a party on Friday night. So you have on and you have a day and then you have a part of the day. So The day in the first sentence is Friday. The part of the day is night. So we will have a party on Friday night. And then our flight leaves on Monday. So you have on Monday and then you have part of the day, Monday, which is morning, on Monday morning. All right, so let's come on back to this slide and I want us to actually watch. This video. Which, you know, was actually in your. In your book, let's go ahead and watch that. At in and on with time when question the six lesson c i go to work at eight o'clock watch and listen when do you do homework i do homework at night when do you go on vacation I go on vacation in July. When does your sister have class? She has class on Saturday. When does your father work this week? He works from Monday to Friday. Check your understanding. Look at the picture. Ask the question. When do you Homework. Listen to the question. Look at the picture. Answer the question. When do you do homework? 
I do homework at night. Look at the picture. Ask the question. When do you go on vacation? Listen to the question. Look at the picture. Answer the question. When do you go on vacation? I go on vacation in July. Look at the picture. Ask the question. When does your sister have class? Listen to the question. Look at the picture. Answer the question. When does your sister have class? She has class on Saturday. Look at the picture. Ask the question. When does your father work this week? Listen to the question. Look at the picture. Answer the question. When does your father work this week? works from Monday to Friday. Let's review. Prepositions of time. At 1.30. At night. In the morning. In January. On Saturday. <laughs> On the weekend. From 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. From Tuesday to Friday. Questions and answers. When do you go to work? I go to work at 8 o'clock. When does he have class? He has class on Monday. With he and she, have becomes has. Okay. All right. So let's come on back here. That was an interesting watch. I'm actually going to move this down here. Okay, great. So we actually just watched this video and we're going to actually do some practice. And um, what I want you to do is to take some time, take a few minutes and complete these exercises. And then uh, you're going to just come on back and we'll go over the answers, okay? All right, so go ahead and pause the video, go ahead and answer these questions, and then come on back, and we will continue. I already did that one. Okay, so now let's look at the answers. I'm assuming that you left and you came back. <laughs> okay, and so now we're going to look at the answers for these questions questions. First, let's take a look at the people who are here. All right, let's take a look at the people. And I'm actually going to go back to this slide, take a look at the people without the answers. So let's take a look at the people. And what do we see here? What are they doing? So right here you see it says PTA meetings, first Tuesday of the month. You have a person in, who's here and let's talk about what the PTA is first of all. The PTA is the Parent Teacher Association at a school. So parents and teachers meet in a group to talk about school. That's what the PTA is, okay? Um, so now we're going to do our practice. And here we see we're supposed to complete the sentences, use at, in, on, or from, to.
So let's look at number one. I have English class on Tuesday and Thursday. We already talked about we use on for days and dates. On for days and dates. So you have Tuesday and Thursday. You use on. So let's go through each of these answers. My sister, well, first let's talk about what time and then how we figure out which one to use. So my sister usually has class, and then we have Saturday. So Saturday is a day. And what do we use for days? We use on for days. So my sister usually has class on Saturday. Next, we have night. And this one is tricky because night is a part of the day, but it's also a definite time. So I do homework at night. And let me go ahead and just go to the answers. Okay, so I do homework at night. Number four, my father goes to work in the morning. My father goes to work in the morning. Number five, he always catches the bus at 845. He always catches the bus at 845. Number six, my mom goes to PTA meetings in the evening. In the evening. Number seven, I usually go on vacation in July. I usually go on vacation in July. Number eight, she has class from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. She has class from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. All right. Let's look at exercise B. Read the answers and complete the questions. So I'm actually going to play the answer so you can listen to it and um, give my throat a little rest. So let's listen to the answers. Page 74, exercise 2B. One, when do you go on vacation? I usually go on vacation in July. When does your sister have class? She usually has class on Saturday. Three. When does your father catch the bus? He always catches the bus at 8.45. Four. When do you do homework? I always do homework at night. Oh, okay. It stopped. All right, so number five and six. This is very weird. This is the second time this has happened. All right, number five and six. Um, you can just repeat after me. When does your brother do homework? I'm sorry. When does your brother do his homework? He usually does his homework in the evening. When does your brother do his homework? He usually does his homework in the evening. When does your mother exercise? She usually exercises in the morning. So 
that's our lesson on um, page 74 um, that talks about, you know, going to work, using our prepositions at, in, on, and from, to, with when questions. So we will continue this, this lesson uh, in, our next, in our next video. Okay, see you guys soon. Bye.